Hey guys, it's me, Meteor. Welcome back to Dungeon Country Tropical Freeze. Today we're going to be doing the two bonus levels we unlocked. First, we're going to be in Rickety Rafters, and then going beyond there. Start with 3, then we'll go to 3B. This level could be definitely annoying at times. It's definitely one of my lesser favorite levels, but regardless. Oh, wow. Roll. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Just want to grab Diddy Kong here. Don't really need Diddy Kong, but I'll take him anyway. Free uh, partner is always a nice thing. Now you notice with these, you knock him down and it brings the platforms to a different degree. That's just teaching you what to do for a small little thing there. And you'll be just doing the same thing progressively throughout the entire rest of the level. Here you'll see like a scale that brings stuff down, then goes right back up again. This is you the basics for this level here. But either way, let's just land here and just wait till we get to the next spot. Grab that coin right there. I, for some reason, I acted like I had Dixie Kong. I was waiting for like the little twirl up, but that never came. That's fine. No big deal. I'll just grab. There we are. Fine. All, all's well. Let's, let's move on. Let's just pretend. Let's pretend I'm doing a really good job right now and just, you know. Pretending is fun sometimes to do if you're doing terrible on things. Okay, so starts again. Bring that down. Uh huh. Let's be patient and let's just wait there. And then duck underneath. Ta da! Of course, if you didn't notice down there, there's a little spot right here for us to grab. Here's a new mini game we haven't done yet before. It's a new bonus game. This one's actually a lot harder than the last one. It's you have to do it just right. You don't have very much room to work with. Crap. Crap. Alright, come on. Come on. Come on. There we are. Got it. First try. Nice. That one actually took me a little bit tries to do. Um, that one, you have to pretty much be on your toes at all times because it constantly alternates and it can be kind of hard to grab them all at the same time. Either way, first K is right there. Not really a big deal. Ta-da! Look at all those banana coins just got in that little small little spot. You get a banana coin right there too, making all types of good, ah, shoot, wrong one. I need to grab, this is the one I was looking to grab. Because it drops down this and allows us to shoot and get that banana, put that puzzle piece right there. Now this one just knocks over the platform, which I was trying to. Oh well, no biggie. It's fine. Like there's a checkpoint. That's all that matters. You don't need to collect all these. They don't give you any banana coins or any type of anything. So don't worry about that. Bring this. Ah, I was in the wrong spot for the banana coin. Oh well, no biggie. Just gonna hit the owl, hit the O. Now here you'll see these little bomb things. These little water bombs, you've seen this before. You just hold on to this. And you'll see these little things that are flaming down there. But our main goal is to hit that. And, hit that. And yay, look at all those things coming down. Don't worry about this, just a waste of time. You don't get any type of banana, you, don't, you get a, some banana coins, but you don't get any uh, puzzle pieces. So overall, not really worth your time for the most part. Make sure to hit that. No puzzle piece there if you get all those. Don't worry about them. Hmm, I have to kind of jump my way up this way. Hang out here. Shoot. I, uh, don't know what I was playing there. I, I don't know what my game plan was. I think I was trying to do something. I don't know what I did. I don't, I don't really know what I was going for there with that game plan, but, uh, Either way, whatever I was trying to go for, I definitely failed in executing it. So, there we go. Whatever. No big deal. Wait for it to come back up. Hit the owl and hit the O. Alright. Probably just go back to where I was before. By the way, in case you need to, there are some more water things here for you. So, yeah, I'll just show off the one thing. If you pretty much kill those off, then hit this. Pull this down. And look at all these bananas you could get right here. They also end pretty quickly too. Got him. And then you get two banana coins, a bushel of bananas, and a red balloon. 
Not too bad, not too shabby for what you might get from that. Not really necessary, but still. I'm gonna use you to sacrifice, because you're all worth it. And now we're back to the same spot I was at before, so yeah, alright. Try this again. And just wait here. I got the banana coin, guess that's all that matters. Is there a heart there? Yes, thank you. You'll see some grass and get some bunch of bananas, and you'll see this like a climb up. Pull this down. And hey look! Puzzle piece, that's three out of five. Alright, doing some good work so far. No. Aw, oh, dang, I messed up. Ah. Oh, well, it's fine, big deal. Roll and roll right back in there. Alright. Okay, is that gonna respawn? Is that little enemy gonna respawn? No? I guess I should kill myself then. Alright, well, let's gonna die. Alright, let's try this again. There we go. Then you wanna jump up there, and now we're gonna grab all these bananas that come. I don't think you get any puzzle piece for it. You don't, but still. Now for this, you'll see a little vine that's kind of hidden in the trees there. You wanna grab that, pull it around, and of course you get a puzzle piece that way. It's four out of five. Just one more puzzle piece and we're good. This one though is a little bit challenging and you have to be a little quick on your feet for. First off, you start with these. Target come down, grab another one. Wait, no, flip, I messed up my order. I'm thinking differently. All right, so let's try this again. Let's just kill this thing out of our way real quick. I, I said kill it out of the way. There we go. Fine. Pull this down. Grab. Gra okay, pull this down. Okay, grab this. Throw. Grab this. Jump on here. I'll just grab all these in the meantime and kill this guy too while you're at it. You get a heart there, he's you need it. Which I didn't, but I just wasted time. Okay, this is where things get annoying. Well, this is a you banana coin there. You don't have to worry about getting this. But I'll get it for showing it off purposes. Why not? Just gonna get all the bananas for banana coin. Doesn't really affect too much. It won't give you anything negative. And it's gone. Alright, well, so much for a banana coin. Alright, so you wanna grab that. Grab this one. Oh, nope. Again, hit there, hit that, quickly grab this, grab again, grab that, jump here, wait for that to go down, run, grab this, jump over here, and then, there you go. The message is going to go back to the other way, and, hmm, took longer than it usually does, it's fine. No big deal. Now these are easy to kill. Sure, if you try running into them, they will not. They, they will just block you with their shield. And if you try jumping on them, they have their spikes. Just slam in front of them, and they're fine. By the way, we look. There's a puzzle piece right there for us. Isn't that nice? Was that all five? That was all five. All right, great. Now for this, you want to grab. Yeah, they be really quick. You want to grab that vines right there. Ugh, come on. Said. Grab. Oh my goodness. I'm thinking it might also be for the fact I'm watching, uh, not technically watching the TV screen, I'm kind of watching uh, something that has like a split second delay. Oh, I accidentally. Oh, red balloons. Okay. I didn't need those, but fine. That's all good. I mean, the BL guy that says there's no delay for like streaming and stuff and for watching, it's actually like live on like DHGPVR. Uh, the difference being, I'm sure there's a little bit of live, but only like a very, very small millisecond. So I think the fact that that little small delay of time is probably what prevents me from getting a little fine. I mean, I'm just terrible at it, I know. I'm making excuses. Could be either or, could be a combination of both, you know, whatever. Either way, it's gonna be the 3B Bramble Scramble. I like this place. There are lots of thorns everywhere, lots of death all around you. That's not why I like it, obviously, but still, whatever. 
Let's stay right here. Wait for it to come back around. Float back up. And of course, puzzle piece. Right there to start us off. One out of seven. This is a longer level for sure. But it's a fun level. The water the level is constantly constructs itself as you go forward. Don't go too close, it might fall away. What do I want? I think Cranky Kong is what I want for this one. Whee! Because you could bounce and the spikes don't really affect you. You can pull that down as well. And that like uh, ostrich also kills you. And I just lost Cranky Kong. Alright, that's fine. It's all it's all good. Didn't really want him anyway. It's all cool. And I decide. I okay, need to remember what to do here. And not fail at things. That's possible. Sorry, I, I already got the puzzle piece, so I need to get that again. So. It's a good thing. Alright, let me try this again. Cranky Kong. Now, Cranky Kong can get hurt by fire. No, fine, whatever. We now, if you notice, when he's close to his mouth, that's when you can jump on him. You can also kill him that way. You cannot kill him normally with Donkey Kong, but you can kill him with Cranky Kong, because Cranky Kong's actually little point thing does do damage to them. But you can only once again hurt them if their mouth is closed completely. See a little puzzle piece there for us too. A little puzzle thing to do. Pretty much you see bananas pop. That's ah nope. Yeah, if King Kong definitely makes things a lot easier for sure. Especially for this level. Here we get like maybe a bushel of bananas, pretty much it. Ooh, a heart. That also is very, very nice. Hey look, little once you kill all the grass, you get ourselves a nice little banana coin. There's also a little vine hidden in the grass right here for us. Let's try to pull that down. And there's a spot right there for us. So let's go ahead and climb and get all that bushel of bananas there at the beginning at the very end. And you'll start seeing little hamster things coming following you. So just wait. Just wait right here. Don't get crazy. Then jump off and then climb around. And then, ta-da! That's all there is to it, right there. Got three puzzle pieces already. Oh yeah, we have a checkpoint. All right, and if you'll notice there, bananas also appear in different places. But that's it, ow. But there's no, no puzzle piece. Not there. Oh, well, I lost uh, lost my partner. That's fine. Go up here. We have another little mini game for ourselves. It's one of these mini games. Let's be careful. There we are. That wasn't so bad, as long as I remained focused and looked at where I was going. That's about it all. See? Got the puzzle piece of my first time. Cranky Kong, there we go. Hmm. But yeah. It's probably better if you get that one from the other side when you're not when you don't have a bouncing pad. It's a lot easier to get there on from that end. There you go. See that? That's all you need to do to get the O. For you to come back down, you stupid vulture. Ah, dang it. If you bounce in the vulture right now, you can get the little bushel of bananas. Doesn't matter, I already have 99 balloons. You'll see a lone banana there. Very easy to miss, but. There's a hidden barrel there that gives you a nice other puzzle piece. Once again, very easy to miss if you're not paying attention. Just let all those come down and then break through all of them and let's kill you, stupid thing. Oh yeah, I forgot to. I was thinking, trying to hit the jump button beforehand. I'm like, oh wait, no, I'm hitting. I was hitting the attack button, the roll button, instead of hitting the jump button. That's stupid of me.
Hey, way you start before you go any further, just go in here to the back, very end. And puzzle piece. That's our fifth one. Sixth one. Oh, we only have one more puzzle piece left. Great. Cool. We could go underneath here as well, because we have Kinky Kong. We could do that kind of thing. If you notice, we got 100 bananas. We could have gotten ourselves Red Balloon, but we already had Max, so nothing happened. This reset itself. Hooray! I really wish if you had like 99 balloons, we would give you a banana coin instead. That might be preferable, but eh, whatever. Now this one's also pretty easy to miss if you're not if you're playing real too closely. Just go over here to the left, and we have another mini game for our last puzzle piece. Hopefully I don't mess it up. It's kind of a different layout here with the uh, ones on the side there on the sides, but it's really easy because there's almost no invisible platforms. I mean, there's no bottomless pits is what I meant to say. There are no real except that ones on the side, but those are almost impossible to fall into. It's really easy to get all the ones too, so either way, there we go. Our last puzzle piece. Now we also have our G there we need to get to finish the Kong letters as well, and that's the N. You need Cranky Kong for that one. Thankfully, that's exactly who we have, so we're good. Ow. Just be careful here, because obviously there are those little things that can set themselves on fire. Fire is not fun. Alright, now this, just jump, jump, jump again. And now we have all the Kong letters too. Now if you want to. Ah. Got it, haha. -ha. Perfect. Now we need to be quick fingers. Because, well, if you, if you didn't notice, it crushes behind you. And then. Ah, why do we, why do we do that? I, I keep on hitting the wrong button. I keep on, I'm just getting ready to like hit Y and X and hit the start button by accident. I don't know why I keep doing that. I don't know. It's weird. Either way, we're done with that. And now comes a level I'm very, very, very dreading. I, you know how you play a game and you don't remember too much about the game years later, but you do remember that there's a really hard part that frustrated you, and just that one part, that one hard level, just messes with your mind, because you remember things that are hard very easily. Well, when I started this Let's Play, there was one boss I knew I was not going to have fun with, and I was dreading to do with no powers or no partners. That's this one. Triple Trouble. This boss is great, but oh my goodness, is it difficult. Mainly, it's final phase. The rest of the phases aren't too bad. But man, this level, this boss is frustrating. Let's see how well of a job I do. Hey look, a lone bunch of bananas. How great, out in the open. Definitely nothing bad's gonna happen with this. It's a baboon! You got bamboos baboozled. Forget it. Alright, so first phase with these three guys here. One's gonna come down with a hammer, so duck underneath that. And then one's gonna drop down like that, in which case you can just jump on them. As long as you, it doesn't matter who you hit three times, as long as you hit one three times, the phase ends. You don't have to hit, there's no like real one you have to hit at all. They're, because they're essentially, as far as they're concerned, they're all equal. And I messed up horribly. I, I did not start this level well at all, but whatever. That's. That's fine. Like I said, I think it sucks. The, the little bit of. For a boss like this, the little bit of lag that I see on the, uh, like the small little split second lag I see on this spot can make things fla- What? I jumped on you! That wasn't even fair. You know I jumped on you. Come on. Man, I'm doing horrible. This is definitely not one of my, uh, better runs of this. Wow, why am I doing so bad? 
whatever. At least I defeated him. At least the first phase. Hopefully the second phase goes a lot smoother, because I was not happy with that run at all. That was... I played pretty embarrassingly this way. Now he starts throwing bombs at you. Those bombs obviously cannot touch or hurt. So just stay away from them. But these... You want to wait till, him turn, till he turns back around, essentially, and then throw him. Oh, wow, I am doing so bad. Okay, let me try that again. Alright, come on, try this again this time. Well, I missed, but I'm not doing too bad quite yet. There we are. Got him. Oh, come on. Alright, well, I got through the first phase kind of relatively easily. I was starting for the second phase here. Now you'll notice as well, if you didn't already... Wow. If you didn't already notice, basically, with these, they could turn themselves around. What is wrong with me right now? But yeah, they essentially, if you notice, they only turn around. If you try hitting them as their backs are turned alongside the pole, they will not be damaged. So you from the pop right back up again, and then hit them. And now we're on to phase three, and this is bad. Consider oh, no, we're not on phase three yet. Well, that's right. Now, when you're going to do that phase, first phase, you start throwing bombs at you, make sure you hit the same person twice. That way he gets angry, jumps on you, and therefore, you hit the one same person three times. You notice you actually get a lighter color each time they get hit. So just keep that in mind. Alright, now you're in phase three. And this is the phase I was not looking forward to at all. The third phase has three phases in itself. If you notice, he makes two clones of himself again, except this time they're kind of dead, and destroying them does nothing. They just come back immediately. Eventually, they'll start throwing a bomb like this. So you want to grab that, go back around, and throw it at him. Ah, oh, dang it, missed. Ah, oh, dang it. That's fine. Give me a heart back. Now it comes to this phase. They start throwing a bomb, jumping in at you. Sometimes they can also spin around their flip hammers. Oh, come on. You have like almost no room to work with sometimes. Alright, got him. Alright, cool. Now you go into your last turn here. Essentially, they start just bomboozling bon bombs everywhere. In which case... And then he starts throwing a hammer afterwards. And he starts throwing more bombs. And then he just jump over them. Because he's going to throw a hammer back around. And he's going to throw one of these. And... Done. Aw, oh, come on. How was that? Oh, wait, I was hitting the freaking start X. I keep on thinking I'm hitting Y X, but I put my finger on start and X. That's what I'm doing. Dang it. That's what I'm doing wrong. I keep on hitting the start button. That's why I keep on hitting the start button until I get ready there. Because I put I position my two fingers in the right spot, but I instead of doing Y, X, do start X. Oh, God. Well, I'm stupid. <sighs> Either way, that boss is done. Thankfully, it only took me two tries, so that's good. Didn't do as badly on the boss as I thought I would. It's always a plus. Always a good thing overall. Let's blast off to the next area. And look, guess what? It's a water level. Everybody loves water levels. I love water levels, but I'm pretty sure no one else does. Once again, unpopular opinion, but don't care. Anyway, with that, um, we did the boss. We did the last two levels, the last level. So next time, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, we'll be doing Deep Keep 4-1 and 4-2. See you guys next time.